Man, what are you doing in my studio? It's like two in the morning. Dude, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm stacking delay pedals. Stacking delay pedals? Where did you get an idea like that? I read on a guitar forum that it's like the newest, coolest thing to stack delays, man. Awesome. A guitar forum. Are you sure you read everything correctly? Because I don't think that's the way you do it. Well, if this isn't the right way of doing it, then you tell me how it's the right way. Because I've been doing this for like hours and I can't get the order right. I don't know what I'm doing. Look, if it will get you out of my place within the next five minutes, I'll show you real quick, okay? How's it going everyone? On this episode of Basement Gas, we're going to be looking at stacking delay pedals, how to do it, and how to get some really unique, crazy tones out of it that will help you inspire your guitar playing. My name is Jack, and I still have a serious case of gas. First of all, what pedals am I going to be using, i.e. stacking? First of all, we're going to be using the MXR Carbon Copy. This is pretty much on every single list of 10 pedals that you need in your arsenal. That's including distortion, reverb. The MXR Carbon Copy is an analog delay, and that's pretty much always going to be on a top 10 guitar pedals list. So, very essential. The second pedal we're going to be putting in the signal chain is the TC Electronic Flashback. Now this is a great diverse pedal with lots of options, but without being too complex. This is a great starter pedal if you're just getting into the world of delays, because it does give you, give you a lot of diverse options and different controls. So a great pedal to have. And then finally, we've got a Boss DD3 delay, digital delay. And why? Because it's boss. Oh, you actually want to know a reason. Oh, okay. Um, because it's, it's sort of a, a great cost-effective delay pedal, digital, like I said. And um, it's just one of these robust boss pedals, super easy to control, and um, it pretty much gives you what you would need. And if we have time and uh, we want to become a little bit crazier, we've also got the Obscura Ultra Delay from Digitech. A very cool pedal with unique artwork and uh, yeah, a lot of different degrading and repeats and time settings. 
and it has a trails button as well, which means when you turn this off, you can still hear the delay, so it's not like an abrupt sound, but we'll see if we can fit this in somehow as well. So today I'm gonna to be using an LTD Deluxe guitar with an Evertune bridge and bare knuckle pickups. We're gonna be using a Victory 130 Clean 2 channel by Rabia Massad. And um, this cleans up very nicely, but also has a bit of a gritty tone, so we can try out different sounds. And we're gonna be using also a built-in delay. And then we're gonna be using the loop for the actual stomp boxes or pedals. So my suggestion for anybody who's starting off with this is to have all of your settings on all of your delay pedals at 12 o'clock. So everything pointed straight up. You can see I've got that on the carbon copy, on the DD3, and on the flashback. Now, the order of where to put them, that is entirely up to you. Now, what I'm doing for all of my recordings is it's going in to the MXR carbon copy, then to the DD3, and then finally to the flashback. So in, out, in, out, in, out. Now, obviously you can mix these up. I mean, do whatever you want. It's a real experimental thing that you can try out here. Like I said, everything start off at 12 o'clock. Um, what I would also suggest is if you're going for a bit of a slap back, so a very quick delay, is to maybe put that at the front somewhere. So I would have the delay setting very short on the first pedal because if you're putting it at the very last pedal, the whole delay time will be a lot shorter. So even though you're stacking other delays, the delay finally that's going into the last pedal will be shortened. So if you're looking for longer epic delays, Think of it as going short, medium, long, or even short, short, long. But always, if you're like I said, if you're going for long delays, make sure that's at the very end, because that's the one that's going to be ringing out the longest. And finally, 
If you're doing this for the first time or even the second time, remember, there's no wrong or right way of doing this. It's completely experimental. It's completely up to you. Um, it's The mission is to try and get some very unique sounds. And if you get something that you've never heard before, I'd say mission accomplished. Um, if you're going for wide open spaces, then this is a great way of accomplishing that. And you can do it with any types of delay pedals. Just stack them up, put them in different positions. Just try to have fun with it. Invest a couple of hours to try and find the sound that you're looking for and not the droids that you're looking for, but just, just go for it. Try to have some fun with it. So I hope you found this useful, I hope you found it interesting, and I also hope it inspires to try out some unique or some different types of uh, delay effects. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Just write something down in the comments below. As always, please like and subscribe if, if you'd like to see more videos like this. And as always, my name is Jack, and I have a serious case of delayed, delayed gas. gas.